Thank you, Bernsey. All right, I am here with Carly Accardo, who is the mother of Leighton Accardo. Carly, first of all, thank you for, for stopping by. Um, your daughter touched a lot of people. We've been telling her story all week. Uh, you know, from my time with the Coyotes, she touched a lot of people over there, too. Just in terms of her experience with Phoenix Children's, what can you tell us about that? Um, Phoenix Children's is, um, for us, it was it's a hospital like no other. We, we also did have to spend some time uh, up in New York at Memorial Sloan Kettering, um, which is a world-class facility. But when it comes to children, and the care and the needs that children have, um, a children's hospital like this is unmatched. She was so good at treating everybody like family, and what I consistently hear from people here are that Phoenix Children's treats people like family as well. Was that your experience? Absolutely. Um, the, the entire staff here from, from top to bottom, um, they just, they're so welcoming, they're caring, they want to make sure that not only the needs of Layton were being met, but us as well. Um, they're, they're incredible. Um, I, I still keep in touch with some of the nurses and, and stuff that we um, built such a, an amazing relationship with. And yeah, like I said, like you come down for breakfast and they remember your face. Um, the cleaning staff that comes into your room, they know who you are. Uh, everybody here is, is amazing. I'm blown away by this every time we're here, how involved the community gets and you see all the people here answering phones. Yeah. And it's something that I was always told, like you need to go down there and experience it firsthand. And now I've done this for a few years, but it, it, it is, it truly is amazing how this community rallies around this place for good reason. Yeah, the, Arizona, the, the Valley, East, West, Central, um, I've been listening all week and it's just been fantastic to hear how many people are calling in and supporting this hospital because this is, is an amazing facility that we are so lucky to have here. Leighton's story touched a lot of people, like I said, with the Coyotes and all week we've been telling it. You said, and I was talking to you beforehand, you know, we haven't got to be down here in person in a while. The last time we were here, Leighton was here and came down and saw the uh, give -a -thon. Yeah, uh, in 2019, uh, Leighton and I were here. Um, then we came down for breakfast and all of this was set up and Leighton and I were like, what? This this is amazing. And we sat down here listening to people clap and people calling in. And so it's, it's great that you guys are able to come back here. We like to, uh, with the Champions of Hope, a teddy bear gets delivered in, you know, in, a, in somebody's name who is a Champion of Hope to a patient. We have a special teddy bear delivery for you today. Oh, if you would, if you would you. Uh, meet Mr. Oh, Shane Doan. For anybody that somehow doesn't know, this is Shane Doan. Uh, donor, what can you just kind of tell us about Carly, Leighton, and obviously uh, Phoenix Children's? Oh, well, I mean, Carly and, and, and her family, and it's just, it's, they're amazing. And we've got to be, uh, to be part of their lives in the last little bit, and everyone that they're around. They're just, Jeremy and, and Carly and the, and the kids are just Leanne and Locke, and they're just, they're amazing, so. Thank you. Um, I'm glad I could give you the. I'm glad I could give yeah, you the teddy bear. Thank you, yeah. donor. Thanks for stopping by, Carly. Thank you for telling us your story again. Of course, Bernsey, back to you.